Hello beautiful souls. Today's video is all about love, connection and the little things that make relationships flourish. In the heart of the orphanage's courtyard, children's laughter and shouts filled the air. Most of the adults present seemed indifferent to the clamor. Every so often, a teacher would momentarily lift her gaze from her book, cast a disapproving glance over the lively scene, admonish the children sharply, and then return to her reading. To the kids, such reprimands had become background noise, they merrily continued their play, undeterred. However, for young James, the world beyond the orphanage walls beckoned enticingly. The city streets where individuals roamed freely and where children strolled alongside their parents seemed like an oasis of joy. He imagined a world free from sorrow, from tears, from pain. And he firmly believed that somewhere out there, his mother was searching for him. As James tried to push a twig through a crevice in the fence, suddenly, a hand from the opposite side clutched it, tugging insistently. Straining to identify the stranger, the gap provided James with no clarity. In a hushed tone, he urged the unseen individual to release the twig. Feeling the grip loosen, the stick was once again solely in James' possession. Peering through the narrow gap, James' eyes met those of a curious girl on the other side of the fence. Who are you? he asked. James, she responded, a twinkle in her eye. And you? Why are you watching us? I'm Evelyn. Just being nosy, she giggled. Why aren't you playing with the others? It's not my scene, James replied. With a cheeky grin, Evelyn asked, fancy a sweet. She then produced a candy wrapped in ornate paper and slipped it through the gap. Taken aback, James hesitated for a moment but then accepted the candy. As he unwrapped the treat, an authoritative voice called out to Evelyn. Evelyn. Come here. Without a moment's delay, she whispered a hasty goodbye and dashed off. James quickly consumed the candy, tossing the wrapper over the fence to avoid prying eyes and questions. From that fleeting encounter, a bond was forged. Over time, Evelyn would intermittently appear at the fence, offering James candy she'd managed to push through the tight opening. As the years progressed and Evelyn gained the freedom to roam without her parents, her visits became more frequent and their chats more extended. The two would confide in each other, sharing their deepest thoughts and concerns. While James spoke of his longing to meet his mother and escape the confines of the orphanage, Evelyn would regale him with tales from the books she'd read, stories of her pet kitten, and her everyday school adventures. James once confided in Evelyn that he believed his mother had misplaced him and would soon return for him. However, the reality was far more heart-wrenching. After being abandoned by his father, James' mother, unwilling to shoulder the responsibility alone, had left her infant son at the orphanage steps when he was merely six months old. She eventually left the nation in pursuit of a new romance, leaving her past behind. Over the years, the two children devised ingenious ways to share more significant gifts across the barrier. Evelyn often brought James cherished books, homemade pies from her grandmother, and fresh apples from her family's orchard. The bond between them grew deeper, and James felt a profound emptiness whenever Evelyn was absent for extended periods. Eventually, James' days at the orphanage came to an end. With newfound freedom, he embraced the responsibilities and joys of adulthood. Securing a dorm room, he relished the unrestricted time he could now spend with Evelyn. The pair strolled the streets, frequented cinemas, and reveled in each other's company. James pursued higher education at a technical college and supplemented his expenses with a courier job during the evenings. Evelyn cheered him on, celebrating every one of his achievements. Though a year his junior, Evelyn graduated high school soon after and joined the same college as James, allowing them even more shared moments. One fateful day, she invited him over, eager to introduce him to her family. But despite their warm hospitality during the visit, once James departed, her parents firmly instructed Evelyn to sever ties with him. 
Evelyn's parents voiced their concerns, suggesting that someone from an orphanage might not have the upbringing suitable for their daughter. Knowing her parents' resolute nature, Evelyn realized arguing would be futile. She chose to keep their opinions from James and continued seeing him in secret. However, one day, her father caught them together. Instead of confronting Evelyn, he sought out James at the college, chastising him with stern words. He not only warned James away from his daughter but also menacingly hinted at repercussions if his wishes were ignored. James candidly shared this altercation with Evelyn. Distraught yet determined, Evelyn proposed a solution, James, let's get married. We're adults, and we can make our own choices. Eventually, my parents will come to accept it. James hesitated, you underestimate their stubbornness. They might never come around. With a brave smile, Evelyn replied, even if they don't, I'm prepared to be with you without their blessing. Embracing her tightly, James murmured, I can't envision a world without you by my side. But Evelyn's father wasn't one to make empty threats. Discovering that the couple planned to get married, he leveraged his influence, bending rules to ensure James was conscripted into the military. Tragically, this occurred on the very day the young lovers were set to register for their marriage. The nuptial plans were put on hold as James was conscripted. As he left, Evelyn pledged to wait for him. Yet, Evelyn's parents, in their continued efforts to separate the couple, embarked on a deceitful ploy. When James' first letter reached Evelyn, they intercepted it and replaced its content with a fabricated tale of James falling for a nurse during his service. To further their deception, they sent James a letter, allegedly from Evelyn, claiming she'd found another and no longer harbored feelings for him. Devastated and incredulous, James resolved to seek the truth upon his return. However, Evelyn, noticing discrepancies in the handwriting between the envelope and the letter, deduced her parents' deception. She wrote back to James, assuring him of her unwavering love. From then on, they exchanged letters in secrecy, yearning for their reunion. One day, a beaming Evelyn arrived home, hastily gathering her belongings. Assuming their daughter had moved past her feelings for James, her parents were taken aback. Questioned about her actions, Evelyn joyfully announced that she and James had wed in secret and she was preparing to join him. Her parents, irate and desperate, threatened to sever all financial ties and forbid her from taking anything they'd purchased for her. Evelyn's determination was unwavering. Leaving her packed suitcase behind, she walked out of her family home without a word. Eight years sped by, during which Evelyn and James started a family, though the rift with her parents remained, denying them the joy of knowing their grandchildren. James, having completed his college education, secured a prominent role in a prestigious company. While the young family diligently saved for a home, an unexpected call from Evelyn's mother altered their course. Her father had been jobless for years and now faced a grave illness requiring costly surgery. Desperate and devoid of means, her mother tearfully sought financial aid. Evelyn was torn about broaching the topic with James, but witnessing her distress, he intuitively understood. Prioritizing her father's health over their home dream, he reassured her, and without hesitation, they funded the operation. The surgery was a success. On regaining his health, her father, in a humbling moment, reached out to apologize to both Evelyn and James for past misdeeds. That gesture bridged the chasm between Evelyn's parents and their family. As the relationships healed, James landed an even more promising job opportunity. Through thick and thin, the couple remained each other's pillar of strength, navigating life's challenges hand in hand. That's the end of my story. I hope it inspired you, entertained you, or made you think. If you want to hear more stories from me, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video. And let me know what you think of this story in the comments section. I love to read your opinions and suggestions. Until next time, keep shining.